Welcome to News Desk on SiliconANGLE TV for Monday, October 1st, 2012. I'm Kristen Folletti. Oracle Open World kicked off Sunday, September 30th with Oracle founder Larry Ellison making several big announcements about the company's launch of a brand new cloud computing service. Joining us now to discuss Oracle's future with the cloud is SiliconANGLE founder John Furrier. Good morning, John. Good morning, San Francisco. <laughs> So, John, you and Silicon Angle were on the ground. Uh, what was the scene like at the Oracle Open World opening keynote? It was a great scene, as usual, Oracle Open World. We've been following. It's our third straight year with our live uh, Cube uh, at the show. And uh, it kicks off always with Larry Ellison doing a keynote, and the whole thing kicking off was great. It was a great scene. 50,000 people showed up. Very, very large event. Um, it is a the biggest tech event uh, in in the business and uh, headlined by Larry Ellison, the long-standing tech titan CEO, longest reigning CEO uh, from the first generation computer business and it was quite the show. Now Larry Ellison, a guy that once called cloud computing complete gibberish, is now offering clouds in every way that can be offered. Can you tell us about the different types of cloud computing Larry has proposed? Well Larry was up there with his great uh, flair and command performance. He's awesome. Larry Ellison is uh, Great to watch. I've been following him my entire career. And he announced basically Oracle is now moving into the cloud. He did that last year. He amplified that with some new announcements, kicking off the show. He'll come back on for a keynote again on Tuesday uh, to continue to drive home more announcements. But he talked about offering infrastructure as a service, uh, private cloud, a new database, and their new Exa data product. And uh, it was really quite a show. And, and nothing new from the sense of the industry, but complete validation of some of the things we've been covering on Silicon Angle. Obviously, the movement to the cloud is happening, not in the way that most people thought, but certainly it's threatening the on premise um, infrastructure business and software business of Oracle. Um, so it was uh, quite an announcement. And also a uh, reaffirmation of their acquisition of Sun Microsystems, which we've said is probably their best acquisition ever. A total steal in the industry. And uh, Oracle is absolutely pulling a Steve Jobs Apple for the enterprise where they're offering their own hardware. Uh, to sit with their own software. So it was quite the announcement, and uh, it was all cloud and all about performance. Now, there are two versions of Oracle's new IA IAS cloud. Can you tell us what they are and explain the differences between the two versions? Well, Oracle is a software company, and they moved to the cloud last year with their software as a service, or SaaS. Uh, this year, they announced uh, the infrastructure as a service, IAAS, infrastructure as a service, and this is really going after Amazon. And so in the spirit of one-upping all the competition, Larry Ellison assured the customers and the industry that they now have three levels of solutions, infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service. And really comparing that um, to Amazon, which is the really the one-dimensional company around infrastructure as a service, and then going after Salesforce.com, which has platform as a service and software as a service. So Larry announced essentially all three things and highlighted a new database and new exit data storage. So all of this is kind of being wrapped around essentially cloud computing infrastructure, as he calls modern infrastructure, um, and all about uh, storage and flash memory. Now, is Oracle the only company offering private cloud service, or are there others? Oh, there are a bunch of others. You know, there was a quote on Twitter that said, you know, listening to Larry Ellison talk about cloud is like listening to Dan Marino talk about winning a Super Bowl, of which if you follow the NFL, Dan Marino never won a Super Bowl. So, you know, Larry is, is a little bit late to the party relative to some of these announcements, but the size of Oracle uh, is, is one that validates that the business is moving off premise and into the cloud, and they want to offer that completely with infrastructure, platform, and software as a service all running on their database. And so with the ownership of Sun Microsystems, the hardware, and also Java, Oracle's in a good position, and they were really kind of amplifying that heavily. What's Oracle's advantage or selling point over their competitors, and do you feel that their cloud strategy will be successful? Um, well, their advantages over the competition are one that they're just a massive beast of a company. They are all over the place with massive installed base. They have uh, implementations in the top companies around the world with their software, with Oracle database, and a variety of other solutions, CRM, uh, human resources, et cetera. So, you know, Oracle has a huge presence. So they're already successful. It's really about maintaining 
um, more their market share with the disruption of these new incumbents that are emerging out of the cloud business and also the software business. So you know, the chances of success are good. They, they have a position and they're really defending their position. So this whole keynote and this whole show is about Oracle trying to main, maintain their relevance in the marketplace to their customers. And uh, you know, with everything moving to the cloud, they don't want customers' business to be disrupted. That's their core message. At the same time, Larry Ellison is a huge performance geek. He loves speeds and feeds. And so all he talks about is feeds and feeds. And he went after the competition. I mean, Larry Ellison, you know, last year we reported through all their competitors under the bus, including kicking Mark Benioff out of the keynote at Salesforce.com. He went after EMC last year. No different this year. He went after EMC heavily. He called out EMC on their performance of their VMAX 40 and essentially shamed them with the Oracle Exadata solution. So, you know, he's being aggressive. He also called out IBM. So Oracle sees sees those guys as their competitors. No mention of SAP, I mean, uh, HP, uh, although there was one reference to SAP. So really the story here is Oracle is really going after SAP, their main competitor on the software side, but looking at uh, EMC, HP, and IBM as their main competitors in the other parts of their business. And he absolutely took out the, uh, the guns and started firing against those guys big time. Oracle's two new cloud services were just two of the four announcements that Oracle founder Larry Ellison made on Sunday. Can you tell us about the Oracle 12C? Yeah, 12C is their database, and essentially what they do is obviously they, they're being disrupted by big data. Um, there was not a lot of talk by, about big data from Larry, although some, the earlier keynote, the sponsored keynote from Fizitu talked about big data with real practical examples. But ultimately, big data is a, is a tough uh, concept for Oracle for a couple of reasons. One is all the innovation around big data is disrupting Oracle's business. So for them to essentially adopt big data uh, is a very difficult uh, position to take. It's a little bit of conflict. But also the core disrupting uh, feature of Oracle that's being disrupted is the database. So Oracle announced 12C, a completely redefined database from Oracle to sit in the cloud. And that allows for all kinds of new functionality that they were promising, such as in-memory databases. And this really is, again, part of the, uh, the commentary we've been providing around solid-state drives and flash memory, where you can have literally tons of memory uh, in database in memory. And that's the core announcement of this 12C is that it can run in memory. And the performance advantages are quite, quite good there. So that was impressive. The other parts of their announcement were not that impressive in my opinion, but overall Larry is clearly going after um, speeds and feeds of databases in memory. And that's a direct strike at two competitors, SAP, which has been promoting a concept called, a product called HANA, an in-memory database technology that totally changed the game for performance of so Oracle answers SAP. And the other one is EMC, which makes spinning disk drive. So the concept of storing and databases on disk and uh, flash memory is one that affects EMC. So really EMC and SAP were really, really called out with, with uh, Oracle's announcements. Ellison also made an announcement about a new hardware product. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Yeah, they're, they're obviously announcing the Exadata product, and that is really, again, strike against EMC. And what's interesting is, is that they're going after EMC's existing storage business. And that is something that's going to be interesting because Oracle uh, needs to have a solution there to take advantage of their hardware. And also about uh, EMC uh, makes a lot of money from these drives. So it's really kind of an interesting discussion. But the main announcement is, is that this, uh, the new systems from Oracle are essentially a sun-based hardware solution. And early on in the keynote, no one really picked up on this. You know, I made a tweet about it, but no one else really picked up on it. But Larry kind of briefly mentioned that they're going to have their own silicon for their hardware. And what this really means to the marketplace is that Larry Ellison is clearly implementing a hardware-specific solution for his software to run on. Oracle has been a software company, but now with the acquisition of Sun Microsystems, they are now putting all that effort into hardware. This is very similar to what Steve Jobs did with Apple with their devices, starting at the Mac and then the iPod and the iPhone and then now the iPad. So Larry Ellison wants to have that same philosophy for enterprise hardware and produce the fastest machines possible, whether they're in the cloud or they're on a customer site. So that is really the, the big announcement from, from Oracle. Well, John, thanks so much for joining us, and we'll talk to you soon. Great. And we'll be following Oracle Open World as it unfolds all this week. So for the latest in-depth coverage and breaking analysis, keep up to date with News Desk on SiliconANGLE TV, number one in tech event coverage. Okay, Dave's ready.